How are you doing guys, Zerai here. So today I definitely want to touch on regarding what's next for Bungie. Now they're developing a little game called Marathon. This game actually was first, well, it was actually in existence even before Halo. Not too sure what happened afterwards, but yeah, this trailer unfortunately that we've got, and yeah, I'm gonna say unfortunately, it just didn't give us anything except, well, a pretty awesome soundtrack with unique looking CGI. Now, I want to touch on regarding from the PlayStation uh, blog, you know, extra details, uh, what to expect out of the game and also extra information from it. Now, I want to uh, continue on and say what they have written in the blog. It's my first time reading it as well, so it's going to be with you. It's going to be interesting to, you know, I want to share my thoughts like at the very, very fr f first thoughts. Okay, so today Bungie makes history with the announcement of its first completed, well, completely new project in more than a decade, Marathon. A sci-fi PvP extraction shooter, Marathon will find players engaging one another as a cybernetic mercenaries known as runners, exploring a lost colony on the planet of Tau Setu IV in a search of riches, fame and infamy. Marathon is currently in the development for PlayStation 5 and PC with full cross-play and cross-save. By the way, yes, it will be also available on Xbox. Now, as we go lower, to mark the announcement, we spoke with Marathon General Manager Scott Taylor and Game Director Christopher Barrett to find out more about where we are in our race towards Marathon. Today you announce Marathon, with the first entirely new project announcement from Bungie in more than a decade. How hard has it been keeping this under the wraps for so long? And Scott Taylor replies, so hard, it's so wild to be talking about this in front of the world. As a team, we're completely immersed in developing this world behind closed doors at Bungie, even though there's still a long way to go before release. It's fantastic to be able to open up even just a little and share what we all been working on. The name Marathon obviously conjures up vision of the original game from 1994, but this is something new. Christopher Barrett answers, uh, finding the right balance is one of the most fun parts of the development. We have a tremendous amount of the respect of the original Marathon games, and from the very start, we wanted to honor that, especially the mythology, story, and themes of the world. At the same time, our vision for the game is something new. It's not direct sequel to originals, but something that certainly belongs in the same universe and that feels like Bungie game finding those opportunities to nod uh, to the universe's lore, while also getting it built, well, to build something different and new uh, has been one of the best parts of the developing this game so far. It's our aim to create something incredible both for players who are completely new to a marathon world and for those that have been waiting years for more stories in the marathon universe. You don't need to know anything about marathon to understand or play this game. But if you do, we're making the experience with references and deep cuts you'll recognize. So with new extra screenshots and uh, afterwards, you mentioned that Marathon will feel like Bungie game. What does that mean to you? Well, for you. And the and, uh, answer is, there are many uh, elements to what makes a Bungie game. To me, it runs a gamut from the incredible feel of the weapons to a beautiful and epicate world building, rich in lore, immersion, and the opportunity of create incredible adventure. With Marathon, one of the areas that is big focus for us is our player-based storytelling. The original Marathon games reveals story moments th uh, throughout the terminals, all in text. But now we have so many more ways to immerse players in the world, both in and out of the game. We'll be carrying that through in the design of this game. Our design philosophy here is to have players to affect the story of the world through their choices, uh, well, yeah, and their actions. This approach also lets us shape the overall narrative direction of the game experience while giving players a direct sense of agency and power. So after continuing on, Marathon is designed from the start of the PvP focused game and won't have a single player campaign, instead with the PvP experience as our, our foundation, we're creating opportunity for player driven story to unfold. Stories that integrate with the overarching game narrative. We're building a world full of persistent, evolving zones where players create their own journey with every run they take. That might mean an unforgettable firefight against another crew uh, viewing for the same loot. 
or the last second extraction while uh, passing on all the sides. Beyond just the story of our last run, however, we want to give players a chance uh, to affect these persistent zones and that the larger world as a result. For example, the ima uh, imagine a crew discovering a previously undiscovered artifact that, when activated, opens a new area of the map for all players to explore. In essence, we've created a game where the action of players can have ramifications for the world and players with each unfolding sessions. Interesting. You said Marathon is currently in development. What does that mean? Do you have a timeline for when fans will hear more about the game? And the answer, there's still a lot of work to do before launch or even before we're ready to talk about the game in more detail. The team is hard at work. We're, uh, we're gonna a great base to start from, but there's still so much more to do, including continuing to grow our team. That's one of the most challenging parts of the game's development. Hiring when everyone, well, everything I meant to say is still under wraps. Now that we are announced, I'm excited because I can be much more candid about the position we are looking for and talk about the openly to candidates about the work, what's going on and our vision for the game. If you're interested, you can check out our Bungie career page to see or open the, you know, all open the positions, which we're constantly updating with new roles as needed. Come work with us. We're working on something we feel is really special. I know that fans are interested in learning more about the marathon. Believe me, we can't wait to show you more. And while I can't give a timeline on one, uh, on when that information will be coming, what I can say is this. The next time you hear from us about Marathon, we'll be able to show you the gameplay and we'll be much closer to launch. Well, as expected. <laughs> well, that's all there is to it. Uh, relatively short details regarding, uh, regarding Marathon. Fortunately, we didn't really get a clear picture as well for it, but it kind of gave us you know, extra information that there will be no single player, no campaign. Kind of unfortunate as well. But also, I'm curious to see what kind of vision they got for this and what kind of differences can we expect in, You know, if you're making a comparison between a lot of other co-op games. And will this be a big deal? As long as it gets support that it requires and get constantly uh, updates, constant updates, I mean, yeah, then yeah, I can definitely see this game being a success. As long as it's not broken at launch, as long as it's not content light, we, got something, we could get something quite special here. Either way, do let me know what you think about Marathon. Like and subscribe, see you guys all later, and have a wonderful day.